Hello everybody, aka the Coot again here with uh, the second video on the OP Season 4 Jungling Champions, and this one's going to be about Shivana. At the end of this video, there'll be some runes and mastery pages, so if you guys need some sort of basis for what you're doing with that, that is at the end. Going over her skills real quick, her passive is that she gains armor and magic resistance, and she gets double those uh, bonuses as she shifts into her dragon form, which is her ultimate. Her Q is Twin Bite, she just basically strikes twice, and uh, on the second attack she uh, does bonus damage. And her W is an AoE Fire, basically just does magic damage around her for three seconds and also gives her a speed boost when she's in her dragon form, however, it uh, leaves a fiery trail behind her that also does damage. When uh, her Q activates when she's in dragon form, she'll be doing uh, cleave damage, so she'll be hitting enemies around her as well as doing the normal two attacks on the enemy she's trying to hit. Her E is called Flame Breath. It shoots out a uh, fireball that deals magic damage and uh, it marks the enemies for five seconds after that and auto attacks do more damage to those people. It's like two percent of their health. And when you are in your dragon form it does a uh, it shoots out multiple uh, yeah multiple fireballs in a cone area so you'll be hitting multiple targets so you'll be doing multiple 2% or whatever plus damage to the multiple targets that you're hitting. And finally her ultimate transforms her into a giant dragon. This uh, will also cause anybody in her path to be taking, uh, anybody that's in the fire to be taking magic damage and she'll actually lunge forward. You'll see that later. It's good for knocking enemies back because it does that. And just to get to the video real quick, here we go. You see I, I like scanning. I like taking out the wards and I do a little oop de oop here take out the ward, go away for a couple seconds and then come back, that makes the mid laners feel secure. And I don't really intend to get a kill at this point because, you know, he has full health and we didn't have the most amazing lane control there. But here you can see E comes around, he goes all in with his alpha strike and I come back because, you know, I was right there. Showed lane presence, they thought I was gone and we get Rumble a really early kill. And you'll notice at the end of this video it doesn't uh, it doesn't end because uh, unfortunately, I do really well with Shivana in here, but you can't <laughs> you can't do well for a whole team. And we ended up throwing this game at like 60 minutes in. And there's just no reason to show you 60 minutes of my team slowly throwing it. And you know, I didn't help either. I actually dove the fountain at one point when we probably could have won it. But as is life, we all try to have fun. It was just the normal. But either way, staying in the jungle, trying to get some work done here. I like to counter jungle here. I drop my scanner to see if I can't find somebody and going for another gank temp on this Yasu here. He seemed a little overextended to me, so try and land that and unfortunately he has the ability to get away from just about anything but that's the way that goes. As far as the items for uh, Shivana, some people are going Riggle's Lanterns now. I tend to stay with the, uh, the little fister there, the Elder Lizard I believe it is and I like that, you know, I don't have a problem with it. I feel like it gives me good stuff and I can sell it, uh, sell it a little later but depending on what you're gonna go, I like to get the Hydra I mean, Sunfire Cape is, is a pretty good thing, but as I'm new to Shivana still, I like to get that extra cleave damage. But you're going to want to go with something like a Frozen Mallet, Sunfire Cape. You're going to want to go real heavy on the defensive items and try and get the hybrid, you know, defensive slash attack speed or attack power items. Those are really, really work well, especially with the new defensive masteries, and that's why she's being banned so much. She's in the same category as Mundo as far as junglers. They're really, really hard to take care of, and you'll see here, I think I go like 10-0 and 0 or 10-1 and 1 before things get completely out of control. But Singe is having a hard time up top here. That's my, actually my friend John John. He's not having a real good time because Singe versus Vladimir isn't the easiest thing in the entire world to do. So go up here, show a little lane presence. I got my ult now, so you'll be able to see a little bit of the dragon lunge and I actually do a terrible job at that in this particular instance but you can see all the different things that are happening there the flames on the ground are something that's going to cause people to take damage and her AOE gets a little bigger because obviously she's a little bigger but you'll find that using your dragon form switching into it is good for a variety of different things and since it has such a low cooldown it's actually not you know terribly used to get away from situations which you'll see here a little later and my bottom lane gets caught way out of position and they die, but as I'm at top, that's not really my problem. I'm just going to have to pay a little extra attention to them. So yeah, with that being said, the Blade of the Rune King is not a bad thing to get. Randoins, anything like that, even Warmogs if you're going against some, or Spirit Visage, excuse me, if you're going against some magic uh, damage heavy people. 
here, go down. We got them way out of position. I actually get lucky. Jinx runs into that. We catch her in the alt, and I try and get it, unfortunately. End up snared there. That was definitely my fault, and we don't end up getting anything out of this. It's a, it's one of those situations where I went in on a full health gank against the enemy, and they had too much health. So as you can see, I'm starting off pretty slow here in this game, and, and Shivana thrives in that kind of situation. You don't need the kills right away to end up good with Shivana. Here I'm considering trying to get a dive in, but I get pinged that Yasu is coming. So, noticing that, you know, Yasu is not on the screen, Yi is not anywhere that I've seen, the only one on the map is Vladimir at the moment. It's one of those things you need to realize as a jungler, you should be paying attention to your map often, and you can see right away, they're going to react to the fact that we're pressing so hard. This Yi comes in pretty hard, and Alpha Strikes trying to clear the lane so they don't have to uh, deal with getting, you know, jumped under their tower or anything with them having as low life as they do. And then we get lucky and notice that Yasu's coming down, but probably could have guessed that anyways because he wasn't in lane. So, retreat a little bit here. At this point, I'm more of a bodyguard than anything else due to the fact that our tower is low, and Shivana also thrives very well at that. I got some decent sustain as Shivana. So, there's not a whole lot we can do here. I know my bottom lane is not exactly the greatest because they've had some bad times in the beginning, but she gets off a good barrier. He dives a little too hard, and he's going to be right next to me the entire time, but unfortunately Thresh secures that kill based on the fact that the tower hit it last, and he was the last person to get a hit, so that happens. But we avoided a potentially very bad situation there, and that's what's important. And realizing that I probably overstayed my welcome, I dodged a little yee there, and go and try and get rid of this buff here. Let Rumble have it, because, you know, it is the season of giving. So... Let Rumble have a quick blue buff, and obviously they got that tower. There was no way no way to stop that. And there you can see, I s noticed that it, <laughs> I was getting Alpha Strike by Yi, so I figured it would be funny if I ulted under the tower so he could take some hits. And Rumble does a really good job after taking that blue, securing those extra extra kills there. And uh, the, the bait ended up working. Pulling Yi under that tower got him low enough to where Rumble just melted him. So even though we lost the tower there, we still managed to get some kills. You know, better to take something than nothing in a situation that's just clearly not that good. Singe still not doing that great. I go up there to try and help out, but that pool, that Vladimir pool. Either way, I get flashed on the jukes. It happens to everybody. And at some point in every game, you're going to find yourself in a situation where you have to test how the strongest character is. I feel like this Vladimir is the strongest and most fed character that they have on their team based on the fact that he's killed Singed a few times. So I just test it out. And with his range, it's, it's going to be really hard for me to do anything terribly to him. I don't want to completely waste my dragon form, so I try to get some hits on him so when Singed comes back, at least he has something there. But you got to know when to retreat. I don't want to lose too much health and not be viable to clear the jungle still. So I end up having to leave that fight. Looks like a waste of time, but now I know, you know what? You can't beat that Vladimir one-on-one -on -one with a Shivana that are in the situation we're in right now anyways. So I go and I get my beginning of my Hydra there, start working on my boots. I got my Fister there. So I'm, I'm pretty sturdy in the jungle. I'm not going to have any problems clearing. But I do want to make sure that I attempt to counter jungle at least a little bit, and it puts you in situations where you can get behind the enemy like this. So not a whole lot to do here because, unfortunately, the rumble is low health, but... We get some presents and we put some damage on them and that's important. We didn't lose the middle tower when we've already lost the top and the bottom. We go for a little go behind here. I don't know where the hell Yi is, but I figure Yi is still trying to get after that rumble because rumble's low health. Yi doesn't get out when he's supposed to and again with the alpha strike. Missed that and easy pick up on the kill there. I kind of snaked that from rumble, but at the same time I feel like I've wasted my ult enough. And, for my effort, I get a little bump in the direction I wanted to go anyways. I'll start helping out the team. So at this point, I realize that I want to uh, try to get a tower, like we definitely should be. And it's good to know that uh, your dual strike, it not only does a ton of damage like that, it actually will hit the tower twice as well. So, with the bonus that the uh, twin strike gives you, or the twin bite gives you, uh, on a regular champion, it also gives you that same bonus on a tower, so that's really nice. So you get a good little whack on the tower every every once in a while when your twin is up, so that's nice. Here, we stopped focusing the tower, which was dumb, and took a big beating from the, the enemy champions. 
I still have my alt up, but I want to use it just in case. I was worried about that jinx. I probably should have charged her, but I didn't want to be under the tower. As you can see, that, that fight was pretty even as far as how that went. They could have turned that around pretty easy. If jinx would have got excited during that, it probably could have been bad. But regardless, we got out of there good, and we didn't die, and that's what's important. Although I wish we would have got the tower. Can't get it all. Go back into the jungle. At this point, I got you know a lot of jungle left. I go, I get my cleaver, or the Hydra, the beginning of the Hydra, <laughs> and in hindsight, probably should have went a little tankier in this game for the end game because Yasu and uh, Yi ended up getting very tanky, obviously Vladimir turns into a very tanky character, but either way, we see them on the dragon, and at this point, this is a perfect situation. We just beat them in a team fight, so we know that we can beat them in a team fight, and we got them to where they're actually attacking Dragon and doing the same thing. Have no idea what this Jinx is thinking at this point, but you know what? Don't question the good stuff. Just rolled the carry for the second time, and, and that's always a good thing. It's never a bad thing to kill a carry. If you have the opportunity to counter jungle, I really feel like counter jungling is still not done in the lower ranks as much as it should be. But either way, you gotta counter jungle if you can. The Salastar is obviously just there to be annoying, but he did his job well. And don't be afraid to use Shivana's skills based on the fact that they don't use any mana. So you're just basically waiting for your rage to recharge or whatever it's called to get back to your dragon form. But here I escaped pretty luckily, but there's not a lot going on. It's just going to be a back and forth there over and over again. And I decide that it's time for me to get a little tanky and I buy a giant's belt. Need that extra health. But here you can see, even with a build that's not fantastic in this game, where I probably should have just went all the way tanky and let her damage speak for itself, you still manage to do really good. And I will never pretend to be the most experienced Shivana player. This is probably only the fourth or fifth time I played her, but you can see just how overpowered she is right now. And this guy will definitely help you get a quick edge on people. So, here, Thresh lands the dirtiest of dirty grabs. I tank the tower for a little bit because I am extra tanky. And we go in and massacre this tower because we're doing a ton of damage. I try to distract Vladimir. I don't want him taking my team health down. And you can see the Shivana is just with one giant's belt. She's got a lot of extra health in there. So that being said, it's time to get back into the jungle, get back into the fights. Yasu, I haven't tried him yet, so I figure what the hell, we'll go in there. I did an awesome job with that fireball there. But with Alistar coming in, I start to think that he's not going to be the only one that wants to play. And as you can see, Jinx is right there. And here, I figure clearing the lane is just as important as anything else, so. Drop a little poke on him. Keep active. You don't want to get on active, especially with that Jinx skill shot there. She will hit you from a million miles away. So your side to side movement's important. Here we clear out the minions and start it on another tower. At this point, you know, we should be unbeatable, you think. We got a good thing going for us and stuff like that, but unfortunately, the throws happen. Here, go in, drop a bomb on her. You can see the range that you have as far as chase potential goes with that. And the whole time, we're just doing damage and keeping them out, out of range for any kind of kills they would get. We steal the inhibitor, but Vladimir's back. Do a little damage on him, but you know he's going to drop into that pool, so it's hard to stop focusing and then... It's hard to focus an enemy and then have your team be on the same page as you if you're not in uh, in some sort of communication with them to make them stop, you know, not focusing the right targets. So Vladimir is good in that sense because he can go away and then cause some disruption. But I figure there's nothing more here. Everybody should have left. Rumble tried to do a little too much. So go in, counter jungle a little bit, steal their buff other than sitting in, you know, in their nexus area and dying. There's no reason for that. So, we steal another dragon in here, we're staying active, trying to see if their buffs are up. I'm still thinking counter jungle, way better to clear their jungle than to get mine, and I get the bonus of uh, <laughs> an AD carry again. So as you can see, there's just not a carry at this point in the game, level 14 area, that's going to be able to take out Shivana unless they got some serious, serious skills. And even better, I don't know why that didn't kill him, but I flashed to secure the kill, and it's nice and easy. How about that, huh? Picking up a couple free kills. But you can see the fear that Shivana, you know, causes. She's a really, really tanky character and is, in my opinion, the second strongest jungler in Season 4 so far, based on the fact that the new Masteries are just... They're just so strong for her. Those defensive Masteries just do so much. 
and I recommend getting in there and playing her now because, you know, she, they're, they're going to change it. There's no way they can leave Mundo and Shivana so strong. Oh, there is a way, actually. They can just leave it, but you're going to see these people being banned over people like your Amumus and stuff of old. So Season 3 giving way to Season 4, you can expect to see Shivana and Mundo being banned a lot more often. You're going to get your Riven bans and stuff like that, but here we get into a shitty team fight. And although I'm 10-0 and I wanted to end the game undefeated, not a lot you can do in this situation, so I end up dying, but that's the way that goes. So there you can see that what she's capable of, even with a completely non-experienced player. As far as her character goes, some runes of mastery for you guys. Like and subscribe. Take